thank and praise God for blessing us today to be here. We appreciate his loving kindness unto us. We just thank him for his goodness and mercy for allowing us to be here. We are again another Christian educational hour. We go into our lesson, but we want to start with prayer again today. Lord God, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your great goodness. We thank you for loving us. We thank you for your will and your way. We know it is right. We ask God that you continue to bless us and keep us, that you would open our understanding up even this morning, God, as we go into thy word. We know that thy word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. We have to live by your word, so we need your word. We need you to enlighten us. We thank you, God, for this class, and we pray that you will bless each teaching, each class this morning to break down your scriptures. We thank you, and we give you the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, thank God for you that are here. Uh, we uh, uh, September 22nd, 2024, Series 1, Jesus, Our Savior, Lesson 1.4, Subject, The Last Supper, Focus Verses, John 13, 33-35. Little children, ye are yet Little children, yet a little while I am with you. Ye shall seek me, and as I said unto you, unto the Jews, whether I go, ye cannot come. So now I say unto you, uh, a new commandment give you, give new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Lesson text, John 13, 1 through 38. Uh, truth about God. God prepares us for what we will face in life by teaching us humility, love, and service. Truth for my life, I will serve others in love and, hu and humility as God directs me. So we certainly thank and praise God today for uh, this uh, lesson. Uh, uh, um, the subject again is the Last Supper. Um, and... Uh, 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 it's a good, good subject, uh, and uh, we just want to talk about it just, just for a little bit. The Last Supper, we understand that that was the supper before uh, the crucifixion, and Jesus knew that it would, um, and so that's why they they call it the Last Supper, and um, he ate it with his disciples. And even at that, uh, he was teaching them and still trying to train them and uh, or the foundation uh, of it is love. And love is, is, is a powerful emotion. When you think about it, uh, I, 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 I was thinking a few minutes ago how that that says jealousy is as cruel as the grave, but uh, the scripture says love is stronger than death, and that's why it's it's such a powerful thing. And uh, if we can get it right, I mean, God's love. It's it's uh, our love. Sometimes is kind of crazy. We. We we'll kill somebody and kill ourselves because we said we love them <laughs> and we don't want to lose them. And 
I mean, that's, 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 that's how crazy we are with, with our love, but God's love is, is a lot different than ours, and, and uh, it's good to know uh, that. But in this uh, Last Supper, uh, during the round, around that time, it was, it was uh, a sequence of things that took place. In other words, it was it was more than than just uh, a supper, and Jesus took that opportunity to 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 bring about uh, uh, love and unity, and it, it 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 used to be that everybody would sit down together and eat and and, and uh, uh, talk about things. But not 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 now. We 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 have to go by McDonald's and eat in the car and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> but but that was a that was a time when family you, you really it was a closeness there that we don't particularly have today. And and of course Jesus well, had had gathered these men together for a great work. But uh, he had to prepare them uh, for that work, and this is this is what he was doing, uh, and he never really left them alone because he said, "After I'm gone through the Holy Ghost, he was going to still instruct them that the Holy Ghost would lead them and guide them into all truth." But I want to go to First Scripture, Luke 22, verses 15 through 20. And just kind of talk about some of the things that was taking place, or oh, Jesus had done in in uh, uh, this Last Supper and everything that surrounds it. Luke twenty two fifteen through twenty. We'll get that. And he said unto them. And he said unto them. With desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with, with you before I suffer. With desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. And you know, when you when you when you think about the Passover, it, it goes back to them coming out of Egypt, and 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 God's instruction where they were supposed to kill the lamb. And, and, and eat it uh, and sprinkle the blood on the length of the doorpost. And he was telling them that if the lamb, you know, if, if, if you're in a house that only got a couple of people, lamb, you know, whatever. Uh, 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 so they had, they all, they all had to partake of that. Israel did that. And, 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 and of course, it was called the Passover because of what uh, God did. He sent, he was gonna send a death angel through the land uh, uh, that night. And, and, and God's protection for Israel was that the blood has to be applied to the lintel of the doorpost. And, and, and of course, uh, the lamb had to be slain, you know, and, and everything, and, 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 and they get the blood from the lamb. And this is why it's important to even understand that because the blood of Christ has to be applied to us. And if you don't know how it is applied or how to get it applied to you, then uh, the death angel is got not going to miss your house. In other words, if, if we, don't, we don't get saved and, 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 and get under the blood, or receive the blood uh, through water baptism in Jesus' name. This is how the blood is applied to us. When Jesus was there on the cross, the scripture says that both blood and water came from Jesus' side. Uh, Derry, get for me First John chapter five. And while I'm talking about this, this blood, uh, uh, and uh, Uh, chapter five, First John five, and cause we de we dealing we dealing with uh, the love of God, 
and, and, and the meaning of, of this Passover and, and, and the blood that was sprinkled and the blood that uh, have to be applied to us. Uh, what do I want? Uh, just, just start with verse number two, five and two, and we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, stay where you are, sister. By this we know that. By this we know. We love the children of God. We love the children of God. When we love God. When we love God. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. For this is the love of God. Because that is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. If you, if you love God, you're going to do the things that God say do. You will keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. And they are not grievous. But whatsoever is born of God. But whatsoever is born of God. Overcometh the world. He does overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. And the victory that overcometh the world Even is our faith. Our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world? Having faith in what God is saying, having faith in what God has done, and understanding this, 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 this last supper or, or the love of God and the meaning of it. Why they're there. Because it was commanded by God uh, from the days of Moses. And, and doing this Last Supper, he said, as often as you do it, you do it in remembrance of me. The Passover was a remembrance of the deliverance of the children of Israel coming out of Egypt. Read. Who is he that overcometh the world? Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. But the individual that believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is he that came by water and blood. Jesus came by water and blood. See, he had to take on the nature of Abraham or man. To get the water and the blood. Read. Even Jesus Christ. Even Jesus Christ. Not by water only. Not by water only. But by water and blood. What and, and that and that scripture would take you to where Jesus was hanging on the cross. And when the when the soldier speared him in the side, the second came out of his side, both what? Water, water and blood. Uh-huh. And it is the Spirit that beareth witness. And it is the Holy Ghost that bear witness. Because the Spirit is true. Because the Holy Ghost is true. For there are three that bear record in heaven. Listen, there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father. The Father. The Word. The Word. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. They are one. So don't let nobody try to separate God. In Jesus was the fullness of the Godhead bodily. All right. So the, these three bear record in heaven. All right. What bear record in earth? And there are three that bear witness in earth. There are three that bear witness in the earth. The Spirit. The Holy Ghost. And the water. The water, which is for baptism. And the blood. And the blood. And these three agree in one. These three agree in one. What happened? When an individual has faith and is baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and, and these three agreeing in that one person, the spirit, the water, and the blood. The blood. See, without the Shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. Blood had to be shed. Even uh, when you go back to the days of Moses, even before that, they were still offering up sacrifices. But, but you, the, and you have to go through this process 
to be saved. And, and I'm just trying to give you a, a little bit of understanding about the Last Supper. It was the Passover Supper. And, 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 and so it is important for us to realize what the meaning and the purpose of this Last Supper. Because Jesus said, this is, I, I, I have desired, as you read, I have desired to eat this with you. You, you finished, right? That's good. All right, sister. For I say unto you. For I say unto you. I would not any more eat thereof. I am not going to eat thereof anymore. Until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup. And he took the cup. And gave thanks. And he gave thanks. And said. And said. See, a lot, of, a lot of stuff happened during this, 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 this Passover, this last supper. He took the cup. And he gave thanks. Read. Take this and divide it among yourselves. Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you. For I say unto you. I will not drink of the fruit of the vine. I'm not going to drink of the fruit of the vine. Until the kingdom of God shall come. Until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took bread. And he took last supper, last supper. And he took bread. And gave thanks. And he gave thanks. And break it. And he broke it. And gave unto them saying. And he gave unto them saying. This is my body which this is given is for you. This is my body. The what? Which is given for you. Which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Breaking the bread represents the breaking of his body. They beat him. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I think there's another scripture I want you to read. In, 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 in understanding what really, what, what really took place on, on doing that that setting, a sequence of things that, that surround uh, this, this Last Supper. Okay, okay. Likewise also the cup after supper. Likewise also the cup after supper. Same. Uh-huh. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Which is shed for you. Which is shed for you. Uh, but there it, uh, Psalms 22. I, I, I mean, just kind of take my time and go through this because cause a lot of times we don't get the full impact of what Isaiah 53 was saying. And, and, and uh, 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 of course, of course we, we could go there too, but but like I said, these uh, 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 so many things happen during this this crucifixion or during this Last Supper in that particular setting. Because when they got through, uh, uh, it was it was it was something to to be home. Uh, mm. It's so much in this. Let me let me let me start at verse number one. My God, my God. My God, my God. Why hast thou forsaken Why me? Why hast thou forsaken me? Jesus said that hanging on the cross. Why art thou so far from helping Why me? Why are you so far from helping me? And from the words of my roaring. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I cry in the daytime. I cry in the daytime. But thou hearest you not. You don't hear me. And in the night season. In the night season. And I and, and am not silent. I, and, and I'm not silent. But thou art holy. You are holy. O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Uh-huh. Our fathers trusted in thee. Uh-huh. They trusted. Uh -huh. And thou didst deliver them. And you delivered them. They cried unto they thee. They cried unto you. And were delivered. And they were delivered. They trusted in thee. They trusted in you. And were not confounded. And they were not confounded. But I am a worm. But I am a worm. And 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 this this he he is uh, uh, letting you know what kind of low state he was in. This is, and he said, I'm a worm. And see, when he talked about hell, he said, well, the worms never die. He was talking about that, that, that person that has been reduced to the, as, as I use the uh, algebra phrase, lowest terms. 
He was, he was reduced to his lowest terms. And he called himself a worm because of the pain and the suffering he was going through. Read. And no man. And no man. A reproach of men. Uh-huh. And despised of the people. And I'm reproached of men and I'm despised of the people. All day they see me laugh me to scorn. They laughing at me. They shoot out the lip. Uh -huh. They talk about me. They shake the head saying, uh -huh. he trusted on the Lord. He trusted on the Lord. That he would deliver him. They said that at the cross. Read. Let him deliver him. Let him deliver him. Seeing he delighted in him. Seeing he delighted in the Lord. But thou art he that took me out of the womb. But God, you took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. You gave me hope when I was a child, a baby. I was cast upon thee from the womb. Uh huh. Thou art my God from you my mother's are belly. My God from my mother's womb. Be not far from me. Don't be far from me. For trouble is near. Uh, trouble is near. For there is none to help. There is none to help. Many bulls have compassed me. Now let me let me interject something. For God so loved the world. That he gave. This, this is the giving. This, this is a description of what Jesus went through on the cross. And you, uh, again, like I say, Isaiah talks about it too. But this is David talking about it. Read. Many bulls have compassed me. Many bulls have compassed. He's talking about the, 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 the spirit of man. Strong bulls of Bashan have beset me round. Uh huh. They gaped upon me with their mouths. Uh huh. As a ravening and a roaring lion. Yes. I am poured out like water. I am poured out like water. And all my bones are out of joint. Every hanging on the cross, every one of his bones were out of joint. Every one of them. My heart is like wax. My heart is like wax. I'm melting on the inside. It is melted in the midst of my bowels. It is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up my like a potsherd. My strength is dried up like a potsherd. And my tongue cleave it to my and jaws. And my tongue cleave it to my jaws. And thou hast brought me into the dust of death. And you brought me down to the dust of death. For dogs have compassed me. Uh huh. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. Uh huh. They pierce my hands and my feet. Uh huh. I may tell all my bones. I may tell all my bones. They look and stir upon me. The flesh was ripped from his body. He could see his bones. They part my garments among them. They took his garment and they gambled. I preach the message gambling at the cross. Too many people gamble. They think they got what they need. They think they got what they got, but they don't have it. You get, you're gambling with your own life. Read. And cast lots upon my vesture. And they cast lots. Gambling. Casting lots upon his vesture. But be not thou far from me. Don't be far from me, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, my strength. Oh, my strength. Haste thee to help me. Uh-huh. Deliver my soul from the sword. Deliver my soul from the sword. My darling from the power of the dog. And my darling from the power of these dogs. Save me from the lion's mouth. Save me from the lion's mouth. For thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. Uh-huh. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. And I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I praise and thee. And in the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. That's, that's good. That's, that's David describing in a partial sense what Jesus suffered on Calvary's cross. So this, 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 the supper, he, he was eating before all of this take pl take, took place. But it happened. It happened. And because he loved us. Read, read on. Did you, you didn't finish, did you? 
Okay. Yeah, he finished. Okay, I finished. Mine. You did. So it was a sequence of things that happened uh, during this supper setting or during the, the time that was prophesied to happen. Isaiah prophesied about it. You, you can hear where David talked about it. And, and Jesus told them, I, I'm, I come to fulfill everything that the prophets that's written that they said what happened. I'm here to make sure it happened. See, that's why we need to be sure about our salvation. Make your calling and election sure because of all of this that transpired and 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 uh, uh, yes, that was the last supper. That was the last supper for Jesus on this side. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go to the focus, the focus verse. John, St. John 13 and 33. St. John, little children, yet a little while I am with you, ye shall seek me, and as I said unto thee, to the Jews, whether I go, ye cannot come, so now I say unto you. So now I say to you a new commandment. What, what, he, what he's saying, and I want to get St. John 14. And, and in this focus verse, he's saying, I'm only here for a little while, but uh, uh, I'm going away. You shall seek me and shall not uh, uh, come where I am now. But see, all, all of this ha has to, to, Jesus has to lay groundwork. He had to work to get out of salvation in place. We have to work out our own salvation. We have to make sure that we are saved. Scripture says, examine yourself and see whether you be in the faith. Prove to your own selves how Christ be in you, except you be a reprobate. You, you got to know that you're saved. Yeah. And if you know that you're saved and you're doing the thing, the Bible says he that is righteous does righteous. You, you have to know. And when you are saved, other people know you're saved. Because the fruit that you have. See, if you got the wrong kind of fruit, you're supposed to be a certain tree. Something happened to you. Because you can't be a man and really think you're a woman unless something happened to your mind. Am I right? Yeah. Something will happen to happen to a woman when she got all these features of a woman. And when she want to be a man, she start cutting stuff and operating on her. You got to know that you ain't a man. But that's what done happened to us today. See, so you're going to have to know that you are saved. You can't be wondering and guessing about it. You say, I don't know. You need to know. Right. If anybody asks you, like they ask Peter, men and brethren, what shall we do? Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That puts you into the body of Christ. For many of us have been baptized into Christ, 
have put on Christ. Yeah. We were buried with him in water by baptism. This is how you, you get it. And then from that point on, you work on it. Yes, ma'am. Somebody say something. Thought I heard somebody. I'm getting, I'm getting older by the day, y'all. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. St. John 33, he says, you shall seek me as I said and as I said unto the, to the Jews, where the I go, ye cannot come. So now I say unto you a new commandment. Let's, let's get St. John 14, 1, 2, and 3. Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. If you believe in God. Believe also in me. You believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. Because in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told if you. If it were not so, I wouldn't have told you that. I go to prepare a place for you. But I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you. I will come again. I'm coming again. And receive you unto myself. And I'm going to receive you unto myself. That Jesus Christ am, is coming back. He is coming back. We just have to be ready for his return. Yeah. I pray that you all be ready when Jesus returns. Got to be ready. He's coming back. Read. That where I am. That where I am. There ye may be also. Look, do you not know that Jesus really want us to be with him? Yeah. And, and we in so many ways we oppose ourselves or we fight against being saved. <laughs> being saved don't taste good to the flesh. Because the flesh wants to do its thing. But you got to work on it. Yeah. You got to work on it. And, and, and so a lot of things happen at the Last Supper. All of us can come to church, but that don't mean everybody is eating. You know, growing up as children, you have to watch what you say. I don't want this. I don't like this. I ain't going to eat this. Well, you just go to bed hungry then or get a whooping or something. Yeah, they didn't play that. But we come to God, Lord, I don't like that. Ooh, I don't, that don't taste good. The scripture said, oh, taste and see. Yeah, but we, we, don't, we don't like really Keeping ourselves under control. Every once in a while, we want to bust out. Amen, like. Yeah. Every once in a while, we want to bust out. But it has to be kept under control. Because you don't want to miss this next meal. Lord have mercy. We call this the Last Supper, but... We we're going to eat again. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to miss this meal. You don't want to miss that wedding. The marriage of the lamb has come for her wife. His wife has made herself ready. That means the church got to work at getting ready. He said, I'm coming back. You can't go with me now, but I'm coming back to receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. That's, that's what God is looking at. All right, 
Where are we? You read it. So I'm going away to prepare. St. John 16, 5 through 7, and then 12 and 13. I want to read those. But now I go my way to him that sent me. But now I'm going away to him that sent me. And none of you asked me. And none of you asked me. Where goest thou? Where are you going? But because I have said these things unto you. Because I said these things to you. Sorrow had filled your heart. You sorrow. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. But I'm telling you the truth. It is expedient for you. It's expedient for me. That I go away. That I go away. Well, if I go not away. Because if I don't go away. The comforter will not come unto the you. The Holy Ghost will not come to you. But if I it's depart. It's better. He said, I am with you. But what? I shall be in you. He's trying to tell them that it's better for me to be on the inside of you than just standing here talking to you. And if I don't go away, the Holy Ghost is not coming. So everything that David said, everything that Isaiah said has to happen to me. So that's why understanding this Passover and the love that God had and he's trying to get us to love like he, he did. He loved. All right. Go on. But if I depart. But if I depart. I will send him unto you. I'm going to send the Holy Ghost to you. 12 and 13. Verse 12 and 13. Is that what I said? In the same chapter? Yes. I have yet many things to say unto you. I got many things to say to you. But you cannot bear them but now. But you can't accept what I'm saying to you now. How be it when he. How be it. The spirit of truth. See how important the Holy Ghost is? Read. It's come. It's come. He will guide you into all truth. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. He shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he but shall see, hear. This is what is so important for us to keep coming and ch to church and keep looking and searching. Because God don't give you everything at one time. Here a little and there a little. Line up on line, precept upon precept. God just don't pour all of this in you at once. And I told y'all this, I remember... Wasn't long after I got saved, I don't think. And I was on the job. And God started putting stuff in my head, putting stuff in my head. He was doing it so fast. I said, wait a minute, God. Slow down. And he ain't done it like that since. You know? But God wants to increase what you know about him so you can love everything about him. See, that may be something about little D you don't love. But you stay with him long enough, you should love everything. I said, sure. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I don't love you, but I can grow to love you. Okay. <laughs> but this, this, this love, Lord have mercy, do I need to read that chapter on love? First Corinthians, I'm getting all off my lesson. But we're still talking about love, right? Did y'all read the lesson? Ain't that what he's talking about? So don't y'all look at me cross-eyed. Please don't. <laughs> First Corinthians chapter 13. God help us. This is, see, this is, this is God's kind of love. How far would you like me to read? Huh? How far would you like me to read? Just start reading. I'll tell you what it's 
Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels. I speak with the tongues of men and angels. And have not charity. And have not charity. I am become a sounding brass. Sometimes people think that God just loved them because they got a gift. And they can and they're good at their gift. God loves you, but that don't mean that you're all right because he said, I'm what? A sounding brass or a tinkling tinkling cymbal. cymbal. Read. And though I have the gift of prophecy. And I have the gift of prophecy. And understand all mysteries. And understand mysteries. And all knowledge. And all knowledge. And though I have all faith. And I have all the faith. So that I can remove mountains. So I can speak to the mountain and the mountain skip like a ram. Read. And have not charity. And don't have love. I am nothing. I'm nothing. And though I and see, sometimes that's where else I had it. We think we all of this and a bag of chips and a Coke. But we're not. Everything operates off of love. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be one of God's favorites. Nope. Nope. This church had a lot of problems. Because they were gifted. And a lot of times people say, my gift is better than yours. I'm more important than... No. There is an order. He said everything must be done with decency and in order. We can get it all out of whack because this is why Paul put this love letter in between the gifts. Chapter 12 talks about the gifts, and chapter 14 talks about the gifts. But he put 13 in the middle, so listen, this ought to balance y'all out. It ought to balance you out. Read. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor. I bestow all my goods and feed the poor. And though I give my body to be burned. And give my body to be burned. And have not charity. And don't have love. And profit me nothing. It's nothing. It just, it's nothing. Read. Charity suffers long. Because now it describes love. Are you willing to suffer? Love suffers long. Sometimes God says to individuals, sometimes he may tell the wife or the husband, whichever, he says, Put up with them. Suffer. Because if you love them, you will suffer for them. And if you suffer for them, I have the opportunity to save them. So sometimes God will ask you to do it for love's sake. Remember I told y'all, when would I tell y'all? Wednesday night, I was praying, and this thought popped in my mind. Stop in the name of love. Before you break my heart. (laughs) Stop. So what he was saying was, you Quit all this fanatic and all this other stuff and love. To me, you know, that was my thought from it. Love. You ought to stop because you love the individual. Don't tear them down because you love them. Build them up because you love them. Don't lie on them because you love them. Don't mistreat them because what? You love them. So stop. Read. Charity suffers long. Charity suffers long. And is kind. And it is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity suffers long. Charity is kind. It's nice. 
That's what love is. Read. Charity bondeth not itself. Charity would not lift you up. It's not puffed up. Won't put you over nobody. You will esteem others better than yourself. Paul said that about love. Yeah. Read. Does not behave itself unseemingly. It does not behave himself unseemingly. Seeketh not her own. That's what even, even, even you, you, you call yourself coating somebody, gone with somebody, and you think you love them, but then you don't do nothing wrong with them. It behaves itself what? Unseemly. Thank you. Lights. You don't do crazy stuff. You don't ask a person to do something they're not supposed to do if you love them. I'm in the right house. He said, I'm not, I'm going to give you a new commandment. What is it? What's the new commandment? Somebody tell me. Love your brother. Everybody, whatever y'all said, y'all had to love yourself, love whatever. <laughs> You're right. To do, to love. And see, well, I don't know what love is. Go to 1 Corinthians 13. Then I'm not going to ask you to steal a car for me if I care for you. Huh? Read. Seeketh not her own. It does not seek. Why he put her own in that? Her own. Seek it not her own. It's not easily provoked. Hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I, each person supposed to seek the welfare of the other person. I should not ask you to jeopardize your salvation with God. I'm looking out for your well-being. I'm in the wrong church, right? So we have to understand that. Girl, if you love me, you go to the moon for me. No. No, don't be crazy, sisters. <laughs> you get up there and be stranded like those astronauts are stranded. <laughs> Read. It's not easily provoked. It's not easily. What? Provoked. If I love you, if you put my fingernails off, I won't get mad. I won't be in a hurry to get angry. I'm, I'm be, be slow to wrath, slow to get angry. It take you a long time for somebody to get under your nerve. I'm in the wrong church, y'all. It's not easily provoked. Yeah. Why are you angry at me? I'm looking at you. I know what you're thinking. Come on. Don't do that. Don't do that. What else did it say about love? Thinketh no evil. What? Thinketh no evil. I don't think evil about you. Because what? You love them. You love them. You love them. All of this was around the table. He said, I'm giving you a new commandment that you love one another. Wow. What a uh, a challenge it is today because you got to love. Husband, love your wife and be not bitter. Love. Stop. Stop it in the name of love. Stop it.
Read. Rejoices not in iniquity. It doesn't get happy when somebody else falls. I told y'all. I told you to just watch him. I told you. What's wrong with you? You're in worse shape than they are. Yeah. Read. But rejoices in the truth. And, but it rejoices in the truth. Read. Beareth all things. It a bear all things. Bear ye one another burdens. Bear ye one another burdens. You, I, I remember Bishop Johnson from Old Hickory, he, he was preaching at the other church, and he had, had a couple of heart attacks. Well, you know, he had, had several heart attacks, but he had, had one after he had one. He was there straightway preaching. And he told me, get on my back. <laughs> Man, hey, get on your back. Get up there. He was trying to bear me up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but you, you take the load. You carry the load. You help that person carry it. Bear ye one another burden. When a person is going through, you try to get in it and, and help that person go through it. Child, if I were you, I'd leave. Help the person look. If you can make it, go on. If you can deal with it, deal with it. But see, that's, that's, that's love. I'll help you. I'll fast with you. I'll pray with you. I'll talk to you. Lord, have mercy. Y'all know Mother had it, right? If she get anybody to listen to you, she'll talk to you till you go to sleep. <laughs> she, she'll talk to you on the phone till you go to sleep. But you be trying to bear that burden that's on her. We don't know how to help each other. China, don't you tell nobody, but they told me this about themselves. And what? You just tell that person, look, we can get through this. You can come out of this. God can heal every hurt and every pain and every ache you got. But we can make it. That's, 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 that's love. Read. Believe it all things. It believes all things. Hope it all things. It got a hope for everything. Endure it all things. It goes through everything. Endure. I'm going through this. I'm going through this. I'm going through this. I'm going to endure. He that endure to the end, what? Shall be saved. Read. Charity never fails. It never fails. Put some love on it. It never fails. You done tried everything else. Try loving them. See if that works. I guess I'm in the wrong church again. Read. But whether there be prophecy. Now he going back to these gifts that these folks think they got. He said, whether there be prophecies. They should fail. They're going to fail. Read. Whether there be tongues. Whether there be tongues. They shall cease. They shall cease. Whether there be knowledge. Whether there be knowledge. It shall vanish away. It's going away. It is going away. Verse 9. For we know in part. We know in part. And we prophesy in we part. We prophesy in part. But when that which is See, perfect See, sometimes is come, you don't get the whole story from God. He give you bits and pieces. And sometimes weeks later he put it together for you. And a lot of times when we put our spin on something, we done messed it up. Am I in the right house? Verse 10. 
But when that which is perfect is so come. So when that which is perfect is come. Then that which is in part shall be done away. And that which is in part shall be done away with. Might as well finish the whole chapter. When I was a child. When I was a child. I spake as a child. I spake as a child. I understood as a I child. I understood on a child's level. I thought as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man. In every man's life, it's time. There come a time you have to grow up. Everybody, every man needs to grow up at some point in his life. They say 21. You still want mama to tuck you in. Come on. You laying up in the bed, your wife. My mama used to tuck me in. <laughs> you better go, go back home. <laughs> you need to go back to mama. Yeah, she used to tuck. Colored person, get up. <laughs> Help me out. Don't you be laughing at me, Sister Rebecca. <laughs> All right. I put Read. away childish things. I put put away childish things. I'm a man now. If anybody look, gotta hit the flow and get up. Let me say start the fire. Go to work. Cut the grind. It's me. I'm not a child no more. I tell you, uh, I first got uh, uh, Sister Rosen bought me a riding mower that with the steering wheel on it, but I messed around and got one with the, you know, I ran into a few things before I learned how to ride it, <laughs> and you probably did too. You understand what I'm saying? But I learned by doing. Who ain't never done that before? I learned my doing. This and you, you, you practice being a man. Read, read the rest of my scripture. For now we see through a glass. We darkly. see through a glass. Darkly. Darkly. But then face to face. We don't see everything just like it is. Now I know in part. Now I know in part. But then shall I know even as I also I am known. But then I'm going to know, e know even as I am known. Let me see that. He says, for we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. I'm going to know God like he know me. But right now, it's not all clear. But I'm going to see him face to face. It does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. This is what Paul is saying. Now the last verse. And now about his faith. Now about his faith. Hope. Hope. Charity. Charity. These three. These three. But the greatest of these is charity. But the greatest of the three is love. Love is greater than moving a mountain. Love is greater than raising the dead. Love is greater. Love is greater. Why? Because if I operate off of love, I'm going to treat you and God right. Because of the love. Because love got me. So whatever you're doing crazy and wrong, if you love somebody, stop. Because you love them. If you hate somebody, stop hating. Because you love them. If you love somebody, stop talking about them. Why? Why? Thank you. Who lights? Hallelujah. Somebody say something? <laughs> I say we got to get it. The only way we can make it 
is get it like the Bible said. If I love you, I'm going to respect you. If you love me, you're going to respect me. I saw why they, the police arrested this football player because I guess he was speeding or something. I don't know. And they stopped the car and told him to get out. And he didn't want to. I like he wouldn't want to get out. He wasn't respecting the police. So when they snatched him and put him on the ground, they weren't respecting him. See, your pride will mess you up. They don't know who I is. Don't, no, they don't. You must have didn't know who they was. Yeah. Yeah. You, 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 if you, if you, if you can handle yourself. In various situations, you come out much better. Brother Ed got stopped for speeding. He respected the policeman so until the policeman let him go. I mean, that's what he told. He sent back to y'all ask. See, that's what, see, what we don't do, y'all. We, could, we put ourselves in jeopardy. Yeah. We don't, we don't need to do that. All right, let me get back to my lesson. What scripture were we reading? All right. Okay, then let me, let me go to St. Saint, uh, Saint John, 1 John 2, 7 through 11, 1 John 3, 11 through 18. We 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 dealing with uh, a new commandment I give unto you that ye love one another as I have loved you that ye also love one another. It, it, it's, we got to love each other. We got to do it. It's a new commandment. I'm giving it you. We, we got to do it. Get, get, give me scriptures, 1 John 2, 7 through 11. Brethren. Brethren. I write no new commandment unto you. I'm not writing a new commandment to you. But an old commandment which he had from the beginning. But you always had this. You've always had it. Love. Read. The old commandment is the word which you have heard from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you. But again, a new commandment I write to you. Which thing is true in him and in you. Uh-huh. Because the darkness is past. Because darkness is past. And the true light now shines. And the true light shines now. He that said he is in the light. He that saith that he is in the light. And hated his brother. And hated his his brother is in darkness even until now. Say, I don't hate you. You have to really examine that. It makes sure you don't. Because is there any, <laughs> what do they say about Dallas, if you cut them, they're going to bleed blue. See there? <laughs> If you get cut, bleed love. Brother Dawson did hear that. Both of y'all. <laughs> Read. He that loveth his brother. He that loveth his brother. Abided in the light. They abide in the light. And there is no occasion of stumbling in him. There is no occasion of stumbling in a person that loves his brother. See, because <coughs> because when you go back and unravel love, there is nothing that I would do against you because of what? I love you. You have no occasion of stumbling. Read. 
But he that hated his brother. But the person that hates his brother. Is in darkness. He is in darkness. And walketh in darkness. And he walks in darkness. And knoweth not whither he goeth. And don't know where he's going. Because the darkness had blinded his eyes. Because he's been blinded by the darkness. Blinded by the darkness. All right. 1 John 3. 11. For this is the message that you heard from the beginning. This is the message that you heard from the beginning. That we should love one another. That we should love one another. Not as Cain. Not as Cain. Who was of that wicked one. Uh -huh. And slew his brother. Loved his brother. And wherefore slew him. And slew him. Because his own words were evil. Because his own works were evil. You get that? We do stuff against people and to people because our works ain't right. And his brother's righteous. Uh huh. Marvel not, my brethren. Marvel not, my brethren. If the world hate you. If the world hate you. We know that we have passed from death unto life. Listen, this is a sure fact. We know that we have passed from death unto life. Because we love the brethren. Because we love the brothers. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. A person that does not love his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. Whosoever hates his brother, no, you don't have to shoot him. Just hate him. You are a murderer. And you know that no murderer had eternal life and abiding in him. you know murderers cannot go to heaven. Hereby perceive we the love of God. Hereby perceive we the love of God. Because he laid down his life for us. Because God laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. And we ought to lay down our life for the brethren. But whoso has this world's good. Whoso has this world good. And sees his brother have need. Uh-huh. And shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him. Uh-huh. How dwelleth the love of God in How him? How can you say that you love God when you shut up your bowels of compassion. Read. My little children. My little children. Let us not love in word. Let us not love in word. Neither in tongue. Neither in song. But in deed and in truth. But in deed and in truth. Just, just, wh where are you reading? That yeah. was 18. All right. Uh, read the next verse. And hereby we know that we are of the truth. And hereby we know that we are of the truth. And shall assure our hearts before him. And shall assure our hearts before him. Keep going. Read. For if our heart condemn us. Because if your heart condemn you. God is greater than our heart. God is greater than your heart. And knoweth all things. And he know all things. Beloved, Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, if our heart does not condemn us, then have we confidence toward God. Uh huh. And whatsoever we ask, uh huh, we receive of Him. Yes. Because we keep His commandments. Because we keep His commandments. And do those things that are pleasing in His sight. And do what's pleasing in the sight of God. That's that's good. Uh, so we 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 have to serve, even and and our time is about out. But Jesus. In his humility, he washed the disciples' feet. Amen. That was an humble service. He served them. That's why he's teaching us how to be, how to love, and being able to uh, 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 humble down to service. Jesus uh, uh, was, was teaching us an example that we should follow. If the communion, we should follow that. The washing of one another's feet, we should follow that. Loving each other, we should follow that. Serving one another, we should follow that. And, and uh, even... When, 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 when he talked about Peter, uh, Peter said, you're not going to wash my feet. Uh, and I don't think he was putting himself at a proud spot, but I think he was trying to lift Jesus up to, to, to a degree, yeah. He was trying to put Jesus up there and say, no, you're never. 
But Jesus said, look, if you don't let me do this, you have no part in this. You, and, and then Peter said, wash me all over then, if that's the case. But, but, but that was an humble service that Jesus performed. And, and, and we have to love indeed. First uh, John 4, 7 through 12, I guess. I'm not going to read much of that. Our time is about out. But uh, be loved. Be loved. Let us love one another. Let us love one another. For love is of God. Because love is from God. And everyone that loveth is born of God. And everybody that loveth is born of God. And knoweth God. And know God. He that loveth not knoweth not God. The person that does not love does not know God. For God is love. Because God is love. And this was manifested the love of God toward us. Uh huh. Because that God sent his only begotten son into the world. Yes. That we might live through him. This manifested God's love. For God so loved the world that he gave. Read. Herein is love. Herein is love. Not that we loved God. Not that we love God. But that he loved us. But he loved us first. And sent his son. And sent his son. To be the propitiation for our sins. Uh-huh. Beloved. Beloved. If God so loved us. If God so loved us. We ought also to love one another. We ought also to love one another. No man has seen God at any time. Nobody has seen God at any time. If we love one another. If we love one another. God dwelleth in us. God dwelleth in us. And his love is perfected in us. And his love is made perfect in us. All right, you're down to 12. Okay. Okay. All right. I think we'll stop there. I think I talked about love enough. But all, all of the, see, there were so many things that surrounded this Last Supper and, and that Jesus was trying to make points and, and everything. But uh, you can tell that uh, it was real love from God. And you can tell that God still loved us because we probably could have been, should have been cut off by now. But because God loves us and uh, put up with us, uh, Scripture said God is not willing that any should perish. He's long-suffering to us, Lord, not willing that any should perish, but that everybody should come to repentance. And God is, 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 has stretched his love way out there, trying, hoping that somebody would turn. We have been given ample enough time to do so. All right, we thank you all for coming and being in this class. We appreciate everybody. Are there any announcements we should make? All right, shall we stand? Sun, Sunday school book obligation. Uh, if you order the book, please take care of it. If you love your book, pay for it. <laughs> Shall we stand? Gracious God, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your grace. We ask God that you bless us throughout this day. Leave an anointing in this place, God. Let your eyes continue perpetually. Watch over this place, God. Those who come and approach the altar, I pray for healing and deliverance, God, that you will bless, that you will save and sanctify your people. Help us to be ready, O oh God, 
in the last days we live. Thank you for your great mercy. In Jesus' name, amen.